guys, I'm playing My Heart Maggie and today I've got a video showing you how to make a heart wall hanging using the macrame technique. Okay, so first off I have got my 5mm macrame cotton rope from eBay. I'll link it below so you can buy it yourself. And then I have cut 14 lengths of rope to 120 centimetres. And what I'm going to do is loop it in half, take the loop. Here I've got a dowling rod cut to roughly 32 centimetres and I've just attached it on to some extra rope. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my loop, put it to the front of the dowling, pass the loop to the back and then thread through the rope, pull it through and you'll see that you've got a knot there holding on your macrame rope. So I'm just going to repeat that until I've got all my ropes on and then I'll have 28 ropes hanging from my macrame to start knotting. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is a row of half square knots and once you do five half square knots going down, it starts to twirl around and give you like a nice twist. I think it looks really nice at the top just to start off your macrame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with these four strands here and I'm going to take the two outer ones and I'm going to cross over the left one to make kind of like a number four shape and I'm going to take the far outer right one and cross it under the vertical and horizontal line, cross the back and out the top corner and that kind of makes a knot like this. Leave a few centimetres at the top and then just keep repeating it another four times. So we take the left rope, we cross it over the two middle ropes, then we take the far right rope and we take it under this bottom cross and out through the top corner and then you just pull it up to the knot before. So you just keep doing that another three times. And you'll see when I let that go, that it gives you a really nice twist to start your macrame. So I'm gonna do it on these four ropes, these four ropes, these four ropes, all across the top, and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to get the heart started. Okay, so you'll see that I've done my full row of half square knots. I think it looks really cool across the top. And now I'm going to start working on the heart design from here. Okay, so I've got my macrame and you can see that where the half knots are, I've got four, 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 and four different sets of ropes. And so I'm going to put up a picture of the heart macrame now so you can see the effect that we're going for. So if you want to take a snapshot of it on your phone or your screen, um, just so you can go back to it as a reference, then it will be easier when you're trying to work out where you need to put the knots, but I'll go for it as I do it um, and just show you what we're doing on each row and then it will become more apparent to you. So, to get the top of the heart, I'm going to put two square knots here and two square knots here. So, I have my second lot of ropes 
and I'm going to do the same as I did for the half square knot. So I'm going to cross the left row over the two middle ones and then bring this to the front, cross it under the bit where they cross and then out through the top. And then I'm going to leave about an inch. And then what I'm going to do is reverse that. So I'm going to take the right rope and I'm going to cross it over like a backwards four. And then I'm going to bring the left rope to the front and then tuck it under where it crosses and then bring it out this top gap here. And then I'm just going to pull it. And as you can see, we've made a square. So that is all a square knot is. So if you're not sure, I'll zoom in. I'll do another one here so you can see. And then you can pause it, come back to it and see how you get on. Show you once more. I've got my four ropes and I take the left rope and I cross it over the top of the two centre ropes. Then I take the right rope, bring it to the front and then tuck it behind where these ropes cross vertical and horizontal and then pull it out of this loop that you've created here and then just gently pull your ropes up and then we're going to reverse it. So we take our right rope and we cross it over the two centre ropes, then grabbing the left rope, we took, bring it to the front and tuck it under where we've gone vertical and horizontal and then we pull it out through the loop that we've created here and we just give it a gentle pull and we've made a second square knot. So I'm going to skip the middle one and I'm going to do two more on the fifth and sixth rope. Okay, so for our next row of square knots, we are going to interlace the different rope here. So I'm gonna ignore the first two ropes here, and I'm gonna start with the two ropes from the first column and the two first ropes from the second column, and I'm gonna work with these ones. So what I'm going to do now is the next row, but I'm going to bring back in the first two ropes and start from the, the outer edge, work my way all the way along and this will be the widest bit of our half. Okay, so we're building up our macrame structure, we've got our widest point now. So What's best to do is you do each line is just check that you are on a level. So if you do find that one might be slightly lower, just slightly pull the ropes on the sides and then it will just raise up. So even if you think you've gone wrong, you don't have to redo it all. You just literally pull the ropes on the edges and that will raise the profile. It's important to check that all your ropes are staying straight as you go down because you don't want buckles in your macrame as you go along. So we're gonna do the next row. And again, I'm gonna ignore these first two ropes again and then do another row all the way along the middle, ignoring the last two ropes as well. As you're working on your macrame piece, just every now and again, just give it a little stretch out and this will just help to kind of keep the heart shape quite full in the middle. So now we've done our one, two, three, fourth row. You should be getting really used to the square knot by now. Um, so what we're gonna do for the fifth row is we're gonna discard the first four ropes and gradually we'll start dropping ropes as we get to the point. So we're gonna start with this row here. For our sixth row, we're going to discard the first six ropes and start from here. So 
if you're on track, you should have six spare ropes at the end here and six spare ropes at the end here. For the next row, we are going to discard the first eight ropes. So we'll be starting from here. So now we're going to go from ten ropes in and we're just going to do two squares. And the last square knot in our heart is just the middle four ropes to finish the point on the macrame. Okay, so here we have our heart. You can just leave it here, and if you wanted to, you could just trim off your uh, macrame further down just to have a nice dangling effect but I'm actually going to put in a kind of waterfall um, knot down like a V to follow the V of the heart and I'll show you how to do that now. So I am going to basically put a diagonal line of knots down here and then another one coming down here to make a V. So what I do is I take two pieces of washi tape and I take my outer cord and then from where I want my V to start, which I think is roughly about here, just tape the cord to the wall. And then what I do is I take this cord and I'm following the line of the heart. I tape the other piece of washi tape just to hold it securely in place. And then what I do is I take my second piece of cord and all I do is I take it and I'm going to loop it through this hole that we've made by crossing them. So I just loop that through there and then pull it down and you get this loop that you just push up oh, she's up, to where you want to start. And I do that for each rope three times. And then I move on to the next row. So you can see that I've got to the middle now, so I'm stopping. And then what I do is swap over my washi tape. So I want to be pretty much at the same height and I can let go of the rope now that's gone to the middle and then following the same trajectory tape my washi tape in place again and then I just start doing exactly the same thing but from the other side get to the middle all you're going to do is choose one to loop over the other hold tight so the two join together and then tie a very discreet knot underneath okay so the last thing i need to do is trim these lengths of rope and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to a point again this is my shortest rope so i'll probably use that as my length guide so I again use some washi tape and what I do is I follow the line of the um, half hitch that I did and I just stick the washi tape over the ropes And then I get another piece of washi tape and I mirror that on the other side as well. 
make sure you are completely happy with how your cut is going to go because once you've cut the rope you obviously can't put it back on so I'm fairly happy that that is balanced so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut using some fabric scissors some very sharp fabric scissors So now I've removed the washi tape and you can see that I've got a B and then I kind of just check it a little bit like a hairdresser would so I make sure that my lumps are pretty similar and then just give it a little trim if not. to the people of YouTube and give me a paw. Give me a paw. Good boy. Aren't you a good boy? This is my craft dog and whenever I'm making videos he's usually yawning in the background, aren't you, and having a nap. Good boy. 